thank you very much, uh, Comrade Derek Haneko, my program director, Comrade Barbara Hogan, and the Katrada family, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, President Thabo Mbeki and President Khalima Mutlante, the stalwarts and veterans of our liberation struggle, the national leadership of the ANC, the provincial leadership of the ANC and the alliance, Chief Justice Mukhem Mukhem, ministers and deputy ministers, ambassadors and high commissioners, MECs, executive mayors, leaders of different political parties, members of the clergy, civil society, comrades and friends. I would like to welcome all of you to the Heroes Acre at Westpark Cemetery and to our province on behalf of the Ahmed Katrada Foundation and on behalf of the people and the government of our province. We have gathered here today to bid our final and fond farewell to Comrade Ahmed Katrada, Uncle Kathy, a man whose activism has been a consistent feature in the struggle for liberation and the fundamental transformation of South Africa over the last 75 years. Uncle Kathy was essentially part of the team that shaped the ANC's political strategy and tactics for every epoch since the 1940s as both a deep thinker and a man of action. He came from a generation described by Anton Limbede in the 1940s as young men and women of high moral stamina and integrity, of courage, of vision, and of stoical discipline. Yes, Comrade Kathy was part of that special generation of South Africans who devoted their lives strictly, faithfully, and single-mindedly to just one mission, freedom in their lifetime. We are here today to celebrate his life, a rich life of purpose and self-sacrifice to humanity. We celebrate his life and legacy as someone who deployed his humility, his intellect, and his disarming sense of humor effectively to marshal the people of our country and the world behind that vision of a non-racial, non-sexist, united, and democratic and prosperous society. Of course, we are here today to pay our last respect to a man who inspired our nation just by force of example, a true revolutionary who lived a life underpinned by compassion, humility, a sense of justice and equality, and respect for human dignity. Of course, we are here to mourn his passing not because of the tragedy of death itself, because death is part of life. We are here because his powerful but gentle presence on earth enriched our lives personally and politically. We grieve his passing because his humility helped to bridge the gap between various generations in the movement and in society. We grieve his death because his work in promoting non-racialism, which is unfolding as well right now at a time when our country needs more consistent and determined effort to build social cohesion and nation building on the basis of equality and social justice. We grieve his departure because he leaves our national life much poorer. Although he is silent today, Comrade Kathy was never a silent man throughout his life of 87 years. So we are also here to celebrate his life because Uncle Kathy always made his views known. And we may say, even as he lie here today, he refuses to be silent. 
As Martin Luther King J.R. would have said, there comes a time when silence is betrayal and that our lives begin to end the day we become silent on things that matter. Uncle Kathy was never silent. I want to give a special word of welcome today to that generation of veterans and stalwarts of, of our struggle with whom Uncle Kathy worked. They are the voices of reason, the consciences of our movement, they are the guardians of our non-racial and non-sexist traditions, and they are the moral campus of our nation. I wish to thank all of you veterans and stalwarts who are here today to bid farewell to Uncle Kathy. We salute you. We honor you for the life of selfless service and the sterling sacrifices you made to bring our country to become a free and democratic society. You must continue to speak out and draw our attention to the mistakes we might be committing in the course of our work. And we as leaders must have the humility to listen to stalwarts and veterans of our struggle. We must be angry if anyone insults our stalwarts and veterans. For they represent that monumental honor that dignity, that integrity of the liberation struggle and the priceless pride of our people and the conscience of our nation. Let's ensure that the views and voices of our struggle veterans are heard and respected. So as we bid farewell to you, Comrade Cathy, we rededicate ourselves to the vision espoused in the Freedom Charter and in the Constitution of our democratic republic and will strive to conduct ourselves in accordance with the values and principles thereof. Farewell, Uncle Kathy. The struggle continues. Thank you very much.